people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to a really, really interesting video. You see, recently I worked on this big project of mine called 150 Random FNAF Facts You Did Not Need to Know. If you haven't checked it out already, it's in the description. I put a lot of work into it, so I'd really appreciate it if you go watch it. And as I was looking for renders for some of the characters on the, uh, on the FNAF wiki, I came across something that is just honestly really, really interesting, and I know I've already said this before, but it's really cool. So the concept of the FNAF characters' endoskeletons is nothing new at all. We've known about them for the past six years. They were in like the first ever teaser for FNAF. We know about them. Endo 01, Endo 02, you know, nothing new. But on the FNAF wiki, I did not even know about this. I don't know if you guys have known about this, but this is so cool. I keep saying it, but it's so cool. We can actually have a look at some of the select characters' endoskeletons. They're not the traditional, you know, oh, Freddy's endoskeleton is just Endo 01, you know, Toy Chica's endoskeleton is just Endo 02. They're not like that. They are specifically made for that character. I'm not really explaining this the best, but later on in the video when we look at the endoskeletons, you're gonna see what I mean. What I've done is I've taken a group of characters from FNAF Help Wanted and FNAF Special Delivery because that's kind of where, you know, we can only get their endoskeletons. Because unlike the other games, they're actual 3D models. We can take them out of the game, put them into a software, and have a look at their endos. So, I don't want to waste any more time because this is it's just so cool. So let's have a look, let's hop in. Uh, we're gonna start off with Help Wanted and we'll go on from there. Let's all smash the like at the same time. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. So the first character we have lined up is Bon Bon. Fun time for it, he's a little hand puppet and they are endoskeleton. Pretty simple, you know, they're a really small character so it doesn't have to be anything too complex. We can see their huge eyes, their gaping mouth. They have two little joints up top for their ears. They have really not much of a body, just kind of for their arms and where they attach to Funtime Freddy. I think this one is just so interesting to look at because unlike the other characters, Bon Bon is just so small. So fitting an endoskeleton into them is kind of tricky, but I think they pulled it off really well and it looks, again, really cool. So next up is Bonnie, specifically from his parts and service minigame in Help Wanted. And as you can see, his hands, as well as a bit of his head, are still on the endo. And while you can definitely tell that it is the endo 01 endoskeleton, it does have a little bit of differences, mainly around the head because, I don't know, Steel World just felt like putting loads of wires up there. If you guys have ever played Help Wanted or have seen someone play it, then you'll, you will immediately recognize the head. Like, it looks identical to what it looks like in the game. He even has the, the secondary throat pipe button to enter calibration mode with his guitar. That's, that's such a nice touch. So this is Baby, right? We know what Baby looks like. We've seen her blueprints and sister location, but I don't know, it's just something about this endoskeleton from Help Wanted is a bit odd. I think it's the eyes. I don't know why. I feel like they're a lot farther apart than they usually are. Yeah, so this isn't really anything all too new. So we're gonna move on from this one. This is amazing. This is Dreadbear from the Curse of Dreadbear DLC. He looks really terrifying. I don't know why his teeth are part of his endo, but they're there. His endo is really similar to the Endo 02 endoskeleton. You know, he's got kind of that rib-like feature. Um, his hands are not present. As you can see, his, his bolts on his neck are also part of the endo for some reason. This is just the Endo 02 from the FNAF 2 minigame. We've seen this many times, we've seen it in the minigame, we can move on. <laughs> but it, it looks cool, you know, seeing it as an actual 3D model is really cool, and that's something I really like about this video, is just seeing the characters and their endoskeletons in 3D. Yeah, this is Endo 01 in Help Wanted. Looks very, very similar to what it looks like in the previous games. Now this is Ennard. We, we've seen him, you know, without his mask, and he looks really really good in this one. Just the amount of detail on his endoskeleton in Help Wanted is quite remarkable, really. His eyes are really, they, they really glow a lot, and that really adds to the, uh, to the animatronic, to the character. It's really cool. Ah, Foxy. This is from his Parts and Service minigame, and again, looks very, very similar to the Endo-01 endoskeleton. As you can see, the modules which hold the, the fuses, 
They are on the endoskeleton, which is very interesting to note. The hook is really interesting too, because it's actually part of the endo. Now this is another endoskeleton of Foxy, but without all the modules. This is his endoskeleton when he's not in the parts and service minigame. Again, looks basically identical to Endo 01, just with a hook for a hand. Now this is really cool. This is the Freddle. This is one of the Freddles. Oh my god. The eyes, the nose, it looks a lot like a skull which I think is the most creepy part. He's got his two little toes, he's got his little fingers. I think, man, it's really just that head that creeps, that it, it just creeps me out the most. The little teeth, again, the nose hole, the eyes, ah, it's just really creepy. Ah, uh, this is the big man himself. This is Freddy from his parts and service minigame. As you can see, just like Bonnie, his hands and microphone are part of his endo. And I think my favorite part about this endoskeleton in particular is the fact that you can see everything that's going on inside. You can see his music box, you can see all the wires inside, you can see the little thing that moves around when you're trying to grab the shoe and the watch. Again, just like Bonnie, if you've played Help Wanted or have seen someone play it, this looks identical to what it looks like in the game. It's so cool. Now this is Funtime Foxy. Again, just like Circus Baby, we have seen them in Sister Location, but this is what they look like in Help Wanted. And of course, we have Funtime Freddy. We've seen what he looks like in Sister Location with the other Funtime characters, and this is what he looks like in Help Wanted. God, this, guy, this is one of the coolest. Grim frickin' Foxy. Look at this man! Just the fire effect, it's so cool. The scythe, that's his endo too? This one's just so cool. You can see his heart. That is always something that kind of freaked me out, but you can see it's part of the endo. Taking a look at his legs, you can see kind of like the magma effect that they put on him. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. And now we have Jack O'Bonny. This man. I'm telling you, this man. I think my favorite part um, it's gotta be the ears. I know that's a weird thing to say, but just looking at the ears, that's so cool how they did that. Obviously, you can see the teeth, the, the big meaty claws, you can see his toes, you can see his burning heart. It's so good. Same thing with Jacko Chica, you can see her heart, her pumpkin is here too. Her feathers have endoskeleton parts. That's so weird, that's such a weird touch, but I love it. I think the Jacko endos are just one of the best. They look so good, especially when they add in the, the, you know, the fire feature, the fire effect on the endo. Mangle, mangle, mangle. We've seen Mangle's endoskeleton for years, right? Ever since FNAF 2, Mangle, we've always been able to see their endo. They are basically just an endo with a head. But now, we can take a look and see just what Mangle's endo head looks like, and it looks identical to their second head, just they have one more eye intact. Moving on to the nightmares, oh my god, these guys look terrifying. Again, Bonnie's ears, I just love how they did that, you can see their eyes, you can see his teeth. Again, I've made this joke, but the big meaty claws that they have, the chest area, the torso area, all with really detailed endo bits. Their brain-like thing that they have in their head, it's so cool! Nightmare Chica, oh my god, dude, this one looks so good too. This one looks so good too. The eyes, again, the feathers, we have the Nightmare Cupcake with her as well. She's emitting this yellowy green light from somewhere. I'm just now realizing that it's the candle on the cupcake, oh, that's such a cool idea! The teeth, the claws, the eyes, they just look so good. The Nightmare Endos are just really creepy. Nightmare Foxy, dude, oh my god, this guy looks insane. His eyes look terrifying, you can see his ears, you can see his hook. The mouth is just so terrifying. The mouth, with the combination of the eyes, they make such a good combo of just terror. Now this is Nightmare Fredbear. You can see he's got the red eyes, you can see he has the bear ears, the mouth ready to bite down on a child's skull. It even looks like the torso. You know, the place around his stomach area, just a little bit below his stomach area, has teeth, which is such a nice touch. They didn't have to include that on the endo, but they did, and it looks awesome. This is Nightmare Freddy, with the endo skeletons of the Freddles on him. Just like the teaser that had Freddy on it, this looks so creepy, especially with the Freddles, dude, it just adds to it. His mouth is terrifying, the eyes. Now this is just a typical Nightmare endoskeleton. This isn't Nightmare's endo because Nightmare is not actually in Help Wanted. I feel like if Night Terrors had a Nightmare mode, he, Nightmare, would have replaced Nightmare Fredbear, but it's just a pizza party. Now this isn't particularly 
plush traps endo, but this is just a plush endo. The ears look so cool. I like the little the little limbs he's got going on, but the head is really really creepy. You have the bulging eyes. You have again the nose holes, which I don't like. It looks so weird and creepy. Now this is plush traps actual endoskeleton. The same thing, just a little bit different. It looks like his hands and his neck are part of the endo, which is really weird. Now this is Springy Boy. This is Springtrap himself. This is his endo in Help Wanted. Terrifying. You can see his head, the purple guy's head right there. You can see all his guts just hanging onto the rib cage of the endo. You can see his thick thighs, dude. Now what I'm about to show you is probably the creepiest thing. This is Toy Bonnie's endoskeleton. I, dude, don't even ask. This is not an endo. This is just like cylinders <laughs> with eyes on top of it. I don't know why they chose to make it this way. Probably because Toy Bonnie and as you're about to see Toy Chico are really skinny. Like you can't fit an endoskeleton into them. They're just really small and really skinny. So this looks creepy, but Toy Chica is even creepier. It's like they wanted to do an endo, but didn't really know how. The eyes with the eyelids are terrifying. The, the open mouth, even more creepy. I think it's just the fact that there's no endoskeleton here, but at the same time it is there. It's weird. Now if you guys have ever played T-Jock, right, the joy of creation, these next few are going to be really, really familiar. This is Withered Bonnie's endoskeleton, right? It just, it looks identical to Ignited Bonnie in T-Jock. Or just like one of the, uh, the Fallen Angel endoskeletons in T-Jock. I don't know, man. It's just the similarity is uncanny. You can see the lack of a top jaw. You can see the arm that's been just completely cut off. Just the wires coming out everywhere, including the head, the red eyes. Oh, it's so creepy. This has got to be one of my favorites. This has got to be one of my favorites. Withered Chica. It's just the hands, man, that sell it. And the gaping mouth. It's just iconic, man. Withered Chica is so iconic. Like, even if the hands were intact, you could tell right off the bat, because of the purple eyes, because they're so huge, and because of just the open, gaping mouth, you can tell it's with a chica, but it's just the lack of hands, and just, oh, all the wires, it's so good. Withered Foxy, oh my. Again, you can just tell right off the bat, it's Withered Foxy. He's got the hook, and just like Withered Foxy, you can immediately recognize his ear, and the wires hanging out. Because Withered Foxy has this huge chunk missing from his mask. The hand is also just really terrifying. I just love the wires. Man, I just love seeing the wires hang off of them. It's so creepy. Scott did such a great job when he made the withered animatronics. They are just so damn creepy. Now, while this may just look like a typical Endo O2 endoskeleton, because, I mean, that's kind of what it is, this is Withered Freddy. You can tell because of his eye color and because of the eyelids. But yeah, this is Withered Freddy. Not much to talk about because it is just a typical Endo O2 endoskeleton. And that is all of the help wanted ones. So now, we are going to move on to special delivery. Now don't expect much of endoskeletons here. Of course they're going to look like endoskeletons, but they're not going to look like your typical endoskeletons. You're going to see what I mean starting off with Chocolate Bonnie. As you can see, it looks like an endoskeleton, but it's just different. The lack of fingers, the lack of feet, basically everything's there. It's just really simple. And of course, since Chocolate Bonnie has a bite taking out of him, they've put in an extra piece of endo just to fill up some space. This is Circus Baby. Again, they look identical to what they look like in Sister Location, what they look like in Help Wanted, so not really much to talk about here. Am I weird for thinking this? I know I said it last time when we took a look at Baby, but are her eyes always that far apart? Now this is just your typical endoskeleton, endo-01, but he's damaged. He can't really tell but if you look at the head, you know, you look at the eyes, you can tell, all right, this is Endo-01 when he's at 0% in the workshop. Easter Bonnie, he's up next. As you can see, I think one of the things that stuck out immediately is the fact that his Easter, you know, his happy Easter tag is for some reason part of his Endo. And another thing you may notice is his complete lack of a chest area. That's just kind of taken out. We don't need that. He also has no ears. Again, these endoskeletons for special delivery are going to be missing a few pieces, and they're going to be really simple. Unlike Foxy, however, who has this really detailed and really complex endoskeleton, I think most likely because they probably ported it over 
from one of the other games, because this looks identical to Foxy's normal endoskeleton. Unlike some of the other special delivery endos, which again are really simple, they're really plain, they're missing pieces, this one's all there and really detailed. Hey, speaking of really simple, plain, and missing a lot of pieces, Freddy Frostbear is a perfect example of that. Not only is he missing his entire head, his ears, he's also missing, once again, his chest. He has no feet, he has no fingers, and for some reason his icicle is part of his endo. I think this one's really cool to look at because it's, it's all blue. Also the eyes. I never really took much appreciation to his eyes, but damn do they look cool. Now this one you will recognize because this is the most recent character added to special delivery. <laughs> Actually, our most recent character is Flamethrower Bear Endo. Bro, shut the hell up. I recorded this before he came out, alright? So he's not gonna be on. Also, have you smashed the like yet for me? Come. It's Liberty Chica. As you can see, Liberty Chica is, I mean, not really much of an Endo. If you want to talk about missing parts, I know I said Frost Bear was a good example, but I think Liberty Chica takes takes the cake. Takes the cupcake, which is ironic since their cupcake is not there. Something that's interesting is that their endoskeleton is the exact same color as their normal suit. Ah yes, we return to Mangle. As you can see, uh, they are missing their entire head. Her mouth, her eyes, her ears, they're all there, it's just their head is completely gone. Now this is an interesting one to look at, Radioactive Foxy. The double hook was always my favorite part about this skin. The yellow glowing eye is also really cool, and it's just the overall material that they used for the endoskeleton. You know, just like the skin, it's green, it's glowing, it's radioactive. Shamrock Freddy is also missing a lot of pieces. I know, I know, it's, it's a theme throughout special delivery. I've said this many times, Shamrock Freddy also basically has no endo. <laughs> right? He's missing his head, he's missing his chest, he's missing his fingers, his feet. Again, endoskeletons in special delivery, really simple, really plain, missing pieces. You can see his microphone and his golden chain are for some reason counted as his endoskeletons. I will never understand why accessories like that are counted, but they're there. And then we come to Afton. Our boy, again, with the creepy looking eyes, his gaping mouth, his rotting skull, the guts just clinging on to the endoskeleton, and of course, dim thick thighs. Toxic Springtrap is basically the same thing, except, you know, he's a bit more of a purple guy. This is so fascinating to look at, because if you guys have seen regular Toxic Springtrap, this is basically what he looks like. So it's interesting that all of that, all of the bubbles and all the purple stuff is counted as his endo. You can see it's just taking over his entire endoskeleton. And much like Help Wanted, Toy Bonnie and Toy Chica basically have no endoskeleton. Here's Toy Bonnie. As you can see, again, their skins, their character, their suit is just way too skinny to have an actual endoskeleton put into them. So I guess the makers of the games just resort to filling it in with weird cylinders. It's really weird to look at just seeing the the really detailed eyes on basically nothing. His ears are there, I guess you can say, but they're not really. As you can see, this is the one where they have no eyes. This is the one where they take out her eyes. And it's just, oh, it's so creepy to have it on basically nothing. She has no lower jaw, where did her jaw go? So that was the endoskeletons of some of the characters in Help Wanted and Special Delivery. I told you, it's gonna be really cool, but also really creepy. This was so cool. This was so fun to do. Hopefully you guys had fun too, because this was just so cool to look at. Some of the behind the scenes of the games. So yeah, that was that. Hopefully you all enjoyed. You can find all of these on the FNAF wiki. Feel free to roam around there. It's actually a really fascinating place. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.